everybody, Joss Allen from GAK.co.uk, and I am here with a very, very awesome man, Mr. Russ from uh, Eastman Guitars, obviously, as, as the t-shirt says. So um, we're here today to essentially talk about Eastman, all things Eastman. Uh, we'll talk about my Eastman, we're going to talk about Eastman's to come, Eastman's that are, um, and um, just the company itself. So obviously, Russ, introduce yourself to everybody, um, and then give us a little give us a little talk about what Eastman Guitars is. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, Eastman Guitars, we started building. Um, we're actually we're, our history is in violin making. Okay. So we started making violins in uh, 1992. Uh, and we make all of our instruments in Beijing. Cool. Um, we only make instruments for ourselves and we have a workshop where everything is made by hand. So we, the only power tools we use are just uh, band saws to cut the initial blanks okay. for instruments and then everything else is finished by hand. So See, that's one of the most important aspects of this company, I think, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, as soon as people hear Chinese, the automatic reaction for people is affordable, more cheaper, mm -hmm. sort of beginner range sort of stuff. Yeah. You have to understand that there are there are luthiers in every single part of the world, you know, tucked away everywhere, and there are people that make handmade guitars in China as well, you know. So that's one of the beautiful things about Eastman to me is that all of their products are handmade. Yeah. So yeah, go on, continue. Yeah. So uh, so we started off making violins, and then um, a few years later we progressed into making arch tops uh, because the principles of carving. Uh, an arch top guitar is obviously rooted in the tradition of violin. Sure. So the jazz arch tops started to make a little bit of a name for themselves. Again, as a real sort of high quality but affordable instrument. Yeah. And uh, as the company then progressed, we started making guitars. So we started making flat top guitars and we started making our thin line series um, that, that you play there. Yeah. Uh, and the company's just progressed and it's gone from strength to strength. Um, manufactured in Beijing, but we have offices in LA. Amsterdam, and then I look after everything UK based. Very cool. Very and cool living indeed. down here in sunny Brighton. <laughs> yeah, of course. Which is handy. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so um, let me give you a quick talk about this guitar here. So this guitar here, well, actually, you could tell me, what, what was the situation with this guitar? Because I know that I bought it from you guys. Yeah. I, th I think I've had it. I can't even remember. I don't even know how long I've had it now. It's not a long time at all, but I have been... If you follow me on Instagram and stuff, you'll know that I'm playing this every single day of my life. It is absolutely astonishing how it came up and stuff. But there, is, this one in particular is only one of, isn't it? It's just it is, this yeah. one. Yeah. And that's because of the finish, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's to do with the combination of the finish and the particular guitar. Okay. <laughs> That is a, an absolute one-off, and I think probably the only one in, in, in the world. It's because I'm special. Which is nice. <laughs> so, the, so this is a T486V, um, but essentially, um, what is the model that is out now that you can purchase that is the closest thing to this? Okay, so the, so the model out now is the T59V. Okay, the T59V. and yeah. I, Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. I know that one. Yeah. So the... The thing that made the thing that's absolutely beautiful about this for me. Let me tell you about it first. So obviously we've got the maple, um, got the flame maple top and back, which is just absolutely insane. Um, but the the main thing for me is that this um, the guitars are either finished in a nitrocellulose or the violin lacquer, aren't they? Um, well, in that series, the v, series. The, the v series, it will only be a violin lacquer. Okay, so this is finished in a violin lacquer, obviously. As you heard Russ talk about the heritage of the company, you know, starting off with violins, I think it's an absolute insanely cool and if you weren't to do it, silly idea not to finish the guitars in this finish. Yeah. Because 
the cool thing about it is that it's already started to started to age and start there's obviously i can't show you on camera yet because it's only a small amount but there's already lacquer cracking on the back of the body um and it has this lovely sort of sticky sort of feel to it which is um just makes you feel like it's gonna sort of come off over a sort of a small amount of time um the guitar is loaded with seymour duncan's um, I was told today, in fact, because I completely forgot, um, I've got a 59 in the bridge and a jazz in the neck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've got the hardtail bridge. I've got it strung with 11s, so I do the whole Bonamassa thing to make it a little bit slinkier for myself. I go through and I go over the bridge. Then you've got a classic three-way selector switch, two volumes, two tones. Um, one of the absolute insanely beautiful things about this guitar for me is the ebony fretboard. It is black. Um, and it is very, to me, rare to come across ebony as beautiful looking as this fretboard um, at the moment. I'm not just talking about my specific guitar. All the Eastmans that I've picked up that have the ebony fretboards, they are as black as the night. They look beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got those sort of 60s style offset um, inlays as well. And then coming to the headstock, we've got the, the ebony veneer uh, running across the headstock as well. So it gives this whole classic look. It's just, and the, the binding that surrounds the whole guitar, the strap button is in my place, the way, I, the, the way you know, the place where I would want it to be. Um, it's just beautifully finished. Um, it's insane. And the amount of money, I think, but how much do the 59s come in at? Uh, so the 59s come in uh, UK price 1499. Mm. <laughs> handmade guitar for that price with the quality the insanely good quality um, that's the reason why I bought one Russ actually bought in the you bought in the um, sort of the the single cut models what, what's what models that the S the SB59 oh, the SB59 the yeah, SB so. yeah the solid bodies you bought those in and I was like what the hell I was like, what the hell? Well, you definitely said something about another brand that we're not allowed to. <laughs> yeah, 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 I did say something, and I, I, I will stand by that. Um, best single cut solid body guitar I have ever played. I'm not even joking. It was the best sounding and playing single cut style guitar I have ever played. Um, and it was in the violin burst finish as well, and you bought the tobacco, the, no, what is it, the gold burst? Uh, the sunburst. The sunburst. The nitrocellular the, finish. So well. you had one in violin oil finish, and you had one in a... Um, a violin finish as well, and it was just insane with the Seymour Duncan Antiquities, right? Yeah. I was floored. But then we also played the Thin Line, was, which was the 59 model, which wasn't 59, it? Yeah. Which so was the 59, yeah. Which was the 59. So just to clarify, so the difference between this guitar um, and the 59 yeah. is that that is not a production model. No. Uh, the 59 is now a production model. Um, so construction-wise, virtually identical, but comes with the Seymour Duncan Seth Lovers. Okay. Um, both in the neck and the bridge. Yes. So you're getting a really, really great set of pickups. Oh, on yeah. a great guitar that's hand built, custom finished. And because of the custom finishing, because of the hand, the nature of the hand rubbing of the violin finish, every single guitar is unique. Well, there you go. Yeah, exactly. So you are getting a custom shop. In effect, yeah, guitar. yeah, you are. Yeah, essentially you are. What are the other companies of uh, pickups that Eastman use? So they use Seymour Duncan. And then what else was there that you've got going on? Yeah, so in our, in our most of our thin lines um, and our solid body guitars, we use Seymour Duncans. Yep. So we either use a combination of Jazz, 59, uh, Fat Cats, um, so the P90 slides, yep. humbuckers, yep. Um, or the Antiquities. Um, on our T386, which is the nitrocellulose 
model below the one that you've got. We yep. use uh, set Kent Armstrong pickups, yep. which are really lovely, get yep. a different tone. And then also on our T58V, we use TV Jones. Which is the next one that I want, right? Which is the, the one that yeah. you have at your house. <laughs> well, I have my house. I was super bummed out. <laughs> Russ came in on a scooter today, so I was super bummed out when I heard that he wasn't bringing that guitar with him. I was like, God, no! Yeah. It's, the, it's the one that I want next, so that one's, uh, yeah. that one's on the list. That yeah. is. So obviously we're going on about how how good these guitars are, how much I love them. Obviously I parted money with, my, you know, so I'm a true testament to how I really, really think about these guitars um, because I parted with my money so that I could purchase one of these incredible instruments. But obviously, you know, Russ, tell the people what, you know, what you think they should do because obviously, you know, we're, this is just on YouTube, you know. So yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, so what, you know, what do you think? Um, well, I suppose the reason I came to Eastman was as a player. I'd picked up an Eastman guitar uh, on the on the second-hand market, and I was so floored by it. You know, I mean, I've been playing guitar. Well, don't want to. Enough years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't want to maths to that good. And I picked up this Eastman guitar, and I was so knocked out by it, and I was so floored by it that I went to the website. I thought, I've got to know more about Eastman. I went to the website, I was like looking around, you know, as we do, checking out yeah, all the models of course. and yeah, yeah. saving pictures, you know, I've got to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and yeah, and, and I, was, I was so moved to, to actually email the company and say, look, I've just bought one of these guitars. This is a phenomenal guitar. I cannot, I can't even believe the prices you're selling me that these guitars should be double the price, mm. triple the price. And I got an email back. Um, oh, thanks very much. Really nice. You know, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Um, and then I learned that the, the office was, uh, the European office was in Amsterdam. And before I know it, I'm, I'm having coffee with the, with the sort of, you know, the, the head guy in, in Holland. We, yep. we met and had a coffee in London. And uh, we're just both so passionate about the, about the guitars that, um, that I started to kind of, you know, take over the role in the UK. And I stand I absolutely stand by that. I never needed to drop that email. I never, you know, I played. Yeah. As most guitar players. Of, and you own of, other guitars. Of my don't maturity, you? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've played a lot of guitars. You've played a lot of guitars. Yeah. And and when I when I flew out to when I finally we agreed that I was going to take the job on, and I flew out to Amsterdam and went to the showroom, and they just laid out every single guitar. And every, I just picked one up and just smiled, and they put another one. Just Pity. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Kid in the sweet shop, and then all the new models started coming out, and and then I know where the company's heading, and I can honestly say, hand on heart, I would not do this job mm. if I didn't believe that these were some of the most incredible guitars available mm. on the market, regardless of the price point. They, they are just phenomenal. They're built by hand. They're built with love and care. They're built by dedicated luthiers who really, really believe in getting the best product to market for any player of any price. We make instruments in many, many price brackets, our flat tops, our thin lines, our solid body guitars, our jazz arch tops. We're now making classical guitars. Mm. And, and just to see a company that's really, you know, less than 30 years old, to see how that company's progressed into now what you have there. And it was, we're so, we were so chuffed when we got the phone call from you saying, I really want to buy one of these guitars. Yeah. Because a player like yourself that's that's you know testing amps and testing guitars day in day out 
to pick us out. You know, it's a massively proud moment, and we were, yeah, we were just simply blown away. So, uh, what I would honestly say to anybody watching is, get down to the store, check these guitars out. They've got some of the nicest amps in store as well. Run through whatever amp you like, play these guitars, shut your eyes, play them, and just make your own decision on them. Because I don't really think it'll be any time wasted at all. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, yeah I definitely couldn't agree more. Well, there you go. There is a little story about Eastman guitars. Um, obviously, they're in stock in our guitar shop and our acoustic department as well. We've got a wide range of acoustic Eastman guitars. So come down, check them out, give them a play, as Russ said, and hopefully you'll be like me and you'll walk away with one. So thank you very much. Cool. You should do that for a living. I should do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course.